The French wore bright red caps and bright red trousers. With their bright red, they also wore dark blue great coats with the same color tunic underneath. The French uniform changed to horizon blue because the red trousers and cap were impractical for the battlefield. The doughboy uniform was made of all forest green. One style has patch pockets, no lining, and are found in coarser quality wool than the other. The more common style has internal pockets, full lining, tapered shoulder straps. The duo boys wore two types of trousers. Among the two, the most common worn were breeches. They are riding style with lace calves and reinforcement at the knee inseam. This is the campaign hat that was worn by the doughboys on the way to France. This is the garrison cap that was first known as the OD cap. It replaced the campaign cap. This is an overseas cap. It was designed from a French cap and is an envelope style. So when it comes time to wear helmets, it can be easily folded and stored. The helmet worn by the doughboys in World War I with the regiment symbol on the front. The Germans' tunics were field gray with field gray shoulder straps that were detachable and piped in color to identify the soldier's regiment number. These spiked helmets were an old tradition in Persia and Germany. But it was more common to find these type of helmets on the battlefield. Since 1902, British soldiers have worn drab khaki for camouflage. By 1918, the uniform served as a background for a lot of badges, stripes, and insignias. A ribbon for military medal, gallantry, and 1914 star, companion medal. Regiment symbol, Corporal's Chevron. There are many more badges, like this one. It is the Lewis Gunner's Skills at Arm badge. It is worn low on the left sleeve. Under this is the good conduct stripe and two wound stripes called battle badges. There are many more badges that go on the British uniform as well.